The first design festival was in 2003 and uh, we doubled in size in each of the first few years. So it reached a critical mass quite quickly. It suggested there was a bit of a kind of pent up demand for a showcasing an event like this. Um, but it's not really about size, it's about quality. And what we want to try and ensure that we showcase the best of design in London to a global audience. Here we are here with David Chipperfield's wonderful installation. Uh, which is about expression of a, a couple of materials. Yeah, it's, it's a sort of architectural object with sculptural qualities, but uh, I think above all it's, it's a sort of um, flag or a piece of bunting to announce or to be part of the you know, collective um, announcement of the London Design Festival, which I think is uh, something very, you know, very good and, and deserves support. Well, the evolution has happened, or the revolution has happened since we started, is that there were perhaps five events doing design showcases in 2003, there's now 85. So arguably a lot of cities won our position, and we're certainly up there at the top, and we need to maintain that position because it's, it's very good for London's reputation to be seen as a creative hub. It's, uh, the creative economy is one in six of every new jobs. Uh, the design sector is an important part of that creative economy. Uh, employing many tens of thousands of people and making billions of pounds for the capital's economy. <coughs> the standard of individual architectural buildings is much higher now than it has been for a long, long time. Uh, I think we saw a very low period in the sort of 70s and 80s. Um, and I think the architecture of the last 15 years, piece by piece, is, is uh, you know, the quality is much better because I think London is a very lively city. Um, it's quite extraordinary how lively it is, and, and uh, I'm sure architecture has played part of, you know, it's been part of you know, the story. You know, it's very encouraging to see how London in the last 20 years or, has gone from a design backwater uh, where people were not really interested in modern design and, you know, and where so, you know, the, the the, there are so few designers, you know, the people like Ron Arad and, and um, Tom Dixon and people like that were real cavalier figures struggling in a, a wilderness. Um, it's really nice now to see that, that there, people like that have persisted and now um, you know, London has become a sort of design centre. I mean, who would have believed that at that time? So we're now seeing young talent coming out, incredible talent. And instead of having to, um, you know, go to Milan or Paris, they're staying here and building studio, you know, making their studios here and, and being successful. And I think that's, that must be good.